Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Today we're going to attack the obliques with a twist. So we're going to do a lot of twisting to attack this area, to target, not to attack, to target the area of the waistline, lower back and glutes. What you need for the lesson is a bow. And I have a list of all the exercises that I was doing my homework, they're really effective. I've been doing this workout for a while and you really feel it after it. What I suggest, you can also combine this workout with one of the strengthening um, uh, videos that I did. Yeah, so it's a nice combination or you just do it by yourself. It's a good workout by itself. So let's start. Sit straight, place your hands under your thighs and press your knees together. We're not using the ball yet. So elongate from the tailbone to the crown, you take a breath and with exhalation roll down. So just round the spine, really hang on to those thighs. The shoulders are going forward a little bit, not up but forward. And now bring your head to your knees and elongate from the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulder and head. And you add them in and make the eight of them roll now to really hang on to those thighs and feel energy from the shins forward or the knees forward and come back up and elongate again. And you add them in and eight add them around after it. Stay here. Can you pull the abdominal more and round the spine even more? So you're opening the front of the hips and come back up. Now elongate the arms and roll half roll. Now listen. We're going, I'm going to do a lot of exercise in this position because it targets the rump the most. If it's too difficult, go to your lower back, but try to keep the shoulders away from the ground. So I'm staying here. Bring the arms up and down. And lift. Press the inner thighs together. Lift and lower. And lift and lower. Last time, bring the arms here and come back to a straight back. You add them in, now roll down, see where you can come and come back up, how low you can go. And roll after it and come back. If you go a little lower, it's a little more challenging. So roll down, you're not laying on the floor, just going a little bit down. And now roll down, stay here, bring the arms again up and you're going to the right side and find your center. Right and center, press your inner thighs together and right and now we're going to the left side and lift the arms and up and lift the arm try to keep both arms long and down and up come back up and stretch forward take your uh, ankles if you want and round the spine bring the head and the chest towards the knees and st sit straight now take the ball if you want we're going to repeat it with the ball so you add them in, you take a breath, make the eight, add them, and you go to the point that you can stay, knees together, lift and lower. So as I'm lifting my arms with the balls, try not to lift the shoulders. If it's too difficult, lose the ball. And up, we're going to the right side, press the inner thighs together and lift and up. Try not to move the hips of the knees and lift and lower. Once more, we're going to the other side. Lift and up and up and up and up and up. Come up, lengthen the leg and stretch forward. Lose the ball. Go to a roll up here. And now find your straight back. Elongate the arms and again reach forward now flex your feet if you can and go to a flat back so find one line from the crown to the tail and come back okay now put the ball between your knees and place your hands behind your head if you can squeeze the ball and half roll down and come back and half roll down. Listen, if it's too difficult, you can do it half roll up and come back, yeah? You can do this or from here, down 
and up again find this this suspended point here with the rhomb and rotation to the right and center and links and center and right and center remember you're twisting from the talia the elbows don't change and up press your head against your hand and up and twist 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 one more set up last time and roll all the way down take the ball away elongate the legs stretch the arm reach 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 you can even arch your lower back up elongate all the toes and the fingers bring your arms here and come to sit in the position find your straight back flex your feet and reach forward okay let me see okay from here people place your hands behind you and again if you have issue with your wrist maybe you can go on your elbows we're going to reverse plank so from here you're coming up press the inner thighs together and go back down and the other mean make the exhalation come up now listen you take one leg you twist and bring it back and links twist and elongate it right twist so again i'm twisting from the talia links twist and twist. you're working the whole body up triceps back of course talia glutes up and lift and one more lift and back and lift and back come sit down and again stretch forward okay from here so you're going lay down on your back and put the heels together your legs are in a diamond shape okay so your heels are together you have a little bend in your knees and they're facing a little bit outward but you push the heels together take the ball and we're going to the ball is above your chest now bring it behind you and now as you lift your head and your chest bring the ball between your inner thighs and hold and back and hold so you breathe in as you lay down you breathe out as you come up and 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 up. the shape of the legs doesn't change you press the lower back towards the floor arms are long if it's possible and and up now we are going to the right side and up and back stay to the right side and up and back and up and back and up we're switching to the left and up and back so every time you can rest your upper back and your head on the ground and up now back to the center and up and up we're going to the right side and up and up to the left side and up back to the center for one so center to the right center to the left center to the right center to the left two more sets so center to the right work the talia center last set center to the right center to the left now people bring the ball here and pulse and up if your head bothers you your neck sorry push you uh, put your hand here to support it and up 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 put your ball down and hug your knees massage the hips so move the hips from one side to the other 
You can also move the head from one side to the other to release the neck. Okay, we're going to continue. Come to sitting position and place your elbows under your shoulders. So try not to sink with the chest, but you lift up, you lift the chest, you pull the abdominal in, and bring, and sorry, knees together, and lift the heels up. We're going to do an exercise that's called Kan Kan, but it's a little different that, that when we're using the list, used to doing the lesson. So bring it to the right side, and from the abdominal come center, left and center, and right and center and left you know what let's take the balls so the knees stays together so bring squeeze the ball and bring it back so we also engage the inner thighs up squeeze the ball and come back and up and back and up and back and up two more and up and now take the ball away. So I hope you have the feeling of how it feels to press the knees together. You go to the right side, bring the legs, elongate the legs, put the heels back and center. Lifts, elongate and center. Right, elongate and center. Left, elongate. Find your center. Now listen, you go to the right side, then you stay. One and two and three and come center go to the other side and elongate stay with the twist here two three and come center go to the first side and up and up and up find your center last time and up and up and up and go lay down hug your knees Place your hand one line with the upper back or the, over the chest. So you have like a T shape. Let, uh, put the ball, place the ball between your inner thighs, your heels together so you really squeeze the inner thighs. Bring the knees to the right side. Now listen, try to go all the way to the floor. Use the arms, pull the abdominal in, squeeze the ball and come back to the center. The other way, you go to the other side. So try to bring the knees to the floor. You can use the arms, pull the abdominal in, in, squeeze the ball and come center. So go to the first side, from the abdominal, come back. And go to the other side. Squeeze the abdominal and come back. And go to the first side. And come back. And go to the other side. So, the legs are acting like a weight for the abdominal muscles. And back. Now listen, you go to the left side and come back. Now listen, go to the right side, stay and look with your head to the left side. The opposite shoulders, try to let it sink to the floor as much as you can. The arms are elongated. Squeeze the ball, pull the abdominal in and come back center. And go to the other side, opposite shoulders melting to the ground. Look to the other side, pull the abdominal in and come back. Okay, you stay or you can place your elbows on the ground and the fists are facing the ceiling. Now listen, you squeeze the ball and bring the knee towards the right elbow and find center. Towards the left and center. So you're engaging the side of the abdominal and bring the knees a little bit towards your elbows and up and to back and up so they're going toward your chest and the elbows up and find your center and up and find the tabletop and up and find the tabletop and up and tabletop and up last time and up stay here take the ball away Place your legs on the ground, roll up. Stretch first, reach with the fingers, reach with the toes. Bring your arms here and reach the forward. Stretch. Now flex your feet and find your straight back. One line with the crown to the tail. 
and crumping. Okay. Okay. Put your hands behind your head. Long arms and long legs and go to your middle back. Stay here. Really pull the abdominal and curl the upper body as much as you can. You press the low back on the ground. Right leg here, left leg is floating. And up, one leg stretch. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. We're going to a twist. And up, and up. Remember, you're twisting from the talia. The elbows do not move. And up, back to the one leg. And up, and up. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Back to the twist. And up, 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 and hug your knees. Place your hand on your shins. Bring your knees to you till your head and your and your chest. Now listen. One side of your body, so the right side, the right leg and the arm are extending and come back, left. Elongating and now both, up and come back. So the right side and come back, left and come back, both and make two half circles with the arms as you come back, and to right. Links, and to right. Elongate, and to right. and up. And up, and up, and come back. Now, elevate the legs. If it bothers your low back, you can always put your hands under your low back or on the side of the tailbone. Your legs are bent a little bit, and we're going to crisscross up, and up, and up, and up. Really engage the inner side, and up. Press the low back towards the floor, and up, and up, and up. And up, now stay here, right leg down, lift up. Links, lift up. Recht, and down, and up, and up. Last recht, last links, one more set. And up, and up, really engage the inner thighs. Up, really strong legs. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Right leg, and left leg. And right, and left. Again, remember, if you need, you can place your hands under your tailbone. Last time, and bring your knees to you. Rock the hips from one side to the other. Elongate the leg in a small V. So the legs are the width of the mat, your arms are going backwards, and come to a straight back. Let me see if I missed anything. I guess not. Okay, good. Spine straight forward. Flex your feet, bring your arms here, and roll down. And go forward. Pull the hips and the ribs backwards, and bone for bone for bone, come back up. And the other knee. And make the eyes out of reach, move forward, reach, reach, reach. Pull the hips round the spine, and come back once more. And the other knee. And reach. And come back up. Okay, people, let's go on the abdominal. So, you're going to lay down. Your legs are in a small V, the width of the mat. And your arms in two uh, right angles. So, you have your elbows are one line with the upper back. The hands are one line with your um, elbows. Press the, press the hips towards the floor, contract the glutes, and lift above the uh, upper body. Press the shoulders and the elbows towards each other and come back. Pull the abdominal in, contract the glutes, and turn. And lift. Now listen, we continue with the twist. As you come up, rotate to the right side, find your center, go to the left, Find your center, go down. You lift up, you go to the right, find your center. You go to the left, find your center, 
and go down. You lift. You go to the right. Center. Left. Center. Maybe you can come up higher and come back down. Contract the glutes. And up. Pull the abdominal in. And up. A little higher here. And come back. Last time. You come up. Rotate to the right. Rotate to the left. Come a little higher and come back. Now you can place your forehead on your uh, hands and we're going to swim only with the legs. So contract the glutes and lift and up and up and up. Try to keep those legs long and up and up and up and up. Knees elongated and up and up and up and up and put your um, legs down. Now we continue with the twist. So the hands as before, you lift everything and you start to flutter with the legs and now rotate to the one side and go center and go to the other side and go center and go to the first side, continue and center and go to the left and center Contract the glutes, pull the abdominal, last time, and come back. Go to your hands and knees, and go to a child pose. Elongate the arms. Walk with the hands to the right side, so you stretch the left hip. And walk to the left hand side with the hands and stretch the right hip and go to we're going to go back to go to continue with the planks so you can always go on your elbows I'm going to go on my long arms elongate one leg elongate the other so contract the glutes we start with right knee tap the floor and left. Every time you contract the glutes as you elongate the leg, pull the abdominal in. Elbows, sorry, shoulders are five, far from your ears. Last time, now listen, you bring the leg here, you twist and come back. Bring the left knee in, twist and elongate. Right, twist and come back. Left, Twist, go back here to the knee tip, and up, 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 one more set. Rotate, and back, rotate, and back, rotate, and back, rotate, and back, put your knees down, and go again to a child pose. Okay, we continue with the glutes. So, stay on your hands and knees and lift the right leg like in a tabletop to the side, elongate the leg, contract the glutes, go back to the bend and come back. Stay with the same leg. Lift. Elongate, bend, and back. Lift, 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 elongate, bend, stay here. Extend the leg, flex the foot, really push the heel away, pull the abdominal in, and pulse. Knee and toes are facing the floor. Try to elongate from the back of the knee, contract the glutes, pull the abdominal in, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, come back. Again, do the uh, stretch for the right hip, so the right hip going to the right side, and the arms to the left. Go back to your tuffle. Maybe I'll turn the other way so you can see if you didn't get it the first time. And 
You have a tapu position, leg length, bend and bend. The knee does not rest on the floor if you can. So the leg is engaged the whole time, the glutes, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Last time, and up. Now stay here, find your straight up, flex the feet, push the heel away, contract the glutes, and up, and up, and up. The head is one line from one line with the rest of the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Now we pull towards your lower back. You pulsing from the glutes muscles and up and up and up and up. Go to the stretch. Bring the glutes to the left side and your arms to the right. Okay, come sit down and we'll roll a little bit to get a little flexibility after all this hip work. So before we roll, I will ask you to separate your knees, go lay down and let the knees open a little bit. Just bounce it slightly so you get a nice opening in the hip flexor. And as long as we're here, the arms go back and go to the center and the arms go back and go to the right side try to feel the opening in the hips and back and left take the ball and up and forward and up and to right and up and forward really breathe in now and exhale as you come up breathe in and out Breathe in and out. Breathe in and center. Breathe in and out to finish it. Stay here, bring the ball to the right side and pulse. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And up, go down, the ball go backwards. Left, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And up and up, close the knees, put the balls here and come to sit in the position. We're going to the Zehon. If you don't like the Zehon, go to uh, rolling like a ball. Your legs are in a diamond shape, take the legs from under your feet and you come to the, the tailbone is going forward under you and hold back and really feel that you're massaging, massaging the spine. So. Feel like your every bone is touching the floor. You're starting with the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, and coming back. Don't think too much, just feel, enjoy it. And up, and trach. and last time, and come sit down. Okay, people, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, share. Subscribe to my channel and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.